What's up, welders? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. I am Paul. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to start a uh, review on the AHP Alpha TIG 200X. And this is the 2015 model, the latest and greatest from AHP. We're going to look at all of its functions, what it comes with, and um, let's just do it. What the hell do you want me to tell you about it for? Let's take a look at each individual part. Then we'll play with it. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is this foot pedal that comes with the Alpha TIG 200X. And you'll notice there is no amperage knob on there. The amperage is controlled by the machine. Now, I have watched a bunch of reviews on this machine, including the reviews on Weld.com by Mr. Tig, where he tells you how terrible this foot pedal is. What he doesn't tell you is that he is a retailer and would love nothing more than for you to buy a new foot pedal from him. That being said, while this isn't an SSC foot pedal, this is a very smooth operating and quite functional foot pedal. I give it a thumbs up. The next thing we're going to look at is your ground clamp, which is, uh, you know, pretty important when it comes to TIG welding. Now this is your standard steel ground clamp with the braided copper connector inside. I've had a number of machines and they basically all come with this and I haven't had a single problem with it so that being said there's no reason to replace that it's a good ground clamp okay here is the back of the alpha tig and I don't know if you can see back here behind the tank that's where your power in goes power switch is right here and it has a standard 9 16 gas fitting all good all right let's look at our front panel controls this plastic cover is a somewhat of a pain in the ass okay uh, TIG or stick AC or DC 2T 4T pulse on off start amps main amps end amps 99.9% .9 of your DC welding DC TIG 2T pulse off start amps all the way down end amps all the way down and get yourself you know a little bit higher than you want to be if you want to be welding at 80 amps then set your main amps for say a uh, hundred and that'll pretty much cover you this next row are your pulse controls, pulse frequency, pulse amps, pulse time. Bottom row is your AC controls, AC frequency, AC balance, and of course that's your post flow timer. So those are your front panel controls. Your hookups, you've got a quick disconnect for your gas. You've got DINs, these are DINs 35, the half inch connectors for your torch lead and positive lead. And you've got a seven pin foot pedal connector. So let's set up and do some welding and see how she does. Our first uh, test piece, that's the first bead I did. 
and that will be the second. They look okay. Nothing to write home about. All right, I'm going to increase the pulse frequency here. Here is the second steal I did with the pulse, trying to get the, uh, the settings where I like them, and frankly, I don't really like the pulse settings on this machine. I would prefer the pulse to be way up in the 20 to 30 times a second, not the maximum 5 times a second that they give. So for DC welding, I don't think the pulse is going to be that useful. Now we're going to increase the frequency to 120 hertz. Here's our aluminum. This was our first weld at 60 hertz. Don't worry about that black shit. That's just crap that was in the aluminum that has nothing to do with the machine. And here we were at 120 hertz. I do like the variable aluminum frequency control. This is low pulse. Alright, here's our stainless welds we did. This is straight, and this is one with pulse. You notice we have a little bit more color in the one with the pulse. So it may be a little bit useful in keeping your heat down on stainless steel. Alright guys, that is my look at the AHP Alpha TIG 200X, the 2015 model. 
Um, I'll definitely give it a thumbs up. It's a uh, it's a good machine. It comes with a good pedal, a crappy torch, and it comes with some nice features. For instance, the um, variable AC frequency control is very nice. The DC pulse control, I don't know how useful it's really going to be to tell you the truth. It's nice that it's there. I will say that. Um, the crappy torch that comes with it, you can replace it. Um, real simple. If you want a, a no-brainer way to replace it, check out George's PlasmaCutterShop.com. Give George a call. Tell him I sent you. He's got what you need. He'll hook you up. Super flex cable. Nice number nine torch. Adapter. Everything to fit this machine. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Now get the hell out of my shop.